imaginative are you? A better description is needed to explain such an abomination of assness. This isn't a fucking letdown, this is... A mini holocaust of expectation. That's how bad it is, folks! That's how bad it is! I'd use the word holocaust. So, really all this world is is the Foot Clan hideout from the first Ninja Turtles. You know, where all the kids get together to party and do bad things. In fact, it's practically identical. But the fun doesn't stop there. Maurice encourages Savage to play little pranks all throughout the neighborhood. Okay, I guess a few innocent pranks here and there isn't that bad. HOLY HELL IS THAT CRUEL! In fact, the more you watch them, most of these pranks are just cruel. They're not really that funny, they're just nasty. What's this? <laughs> Oh, okay, he's drinking the kid's apple juice. I guess it doesn't seem oh, too bad. DUDE! That is awful! Look, this isn't the Kevin Costner brewery, that's real friggin' piss! And why is this kid getting so excited about it? I think they invade the home of one boy he didn't like, that bully from earlier. Outside of that, all the other kids are pure innocence. So how is this funny? Where does the humor come from? You know what? Maybe I'm thinking too hard about this. Maybe there was some comedy in here I'm just not seeing. After all, maybe we can see the kids' reactions. That'd all be pretty funny. PETER! I'm innocent! I'll take a lie detector test! It's because I'm working, isn't it? If you didn't do it... WHO DID?! Do you want to go to military school?! That was horrific! That wasn't funny, that was painful and unpleasant! Hey! I have a funny idea. Why don't we show their beatings? Yeah, because pummeling little children is just as hilarious as mentally scarring them for life. Oh look, this one's getting the belt. <coughs> hilarious. Don't you have any cheese in your life, bud? Cheese. <laughs> what kind? Squeeze, tomatoes, broads, chicks, girls. I said girls. Don't you have anybody else in your life besides your mother who wears an over-the-shoulder boulder holder? Over-the-shoulder boulder holder. Yet another series of words that kids can add to the wonderful vocabulary that this film is teaching them. So while going through the homes, they visit the girl that Savage has a crush on. I don't believe it. She likes me. I thought she hated me. <laughs> Why'd anybody hate you, Bri? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're awful! No, it's just that ever since we moved here, I haven't really been able to make friends. Again, because you're awful! As Maurice destroys the girl's homework, we come across another monster named Snick. <laughs> I wish. No, it's never really explained exactly who Snick is, but I guess he's sort of set up like the mafioso of the monster world. If that's the case, how come he can't get a better wig to stick to his head? Haha, <laughs> that's good for a laugh, isn't it? I love that. You know, I gotta admit, I like post bad out of hell meatloaf better. I like taking my two big black leather gloved hands and grabbing your head and shutting it off! And we just witnessed your kids' nightmare fuel for the week, parents. Whenever your children come up and say they wet themselves and they don't know why, you'll know the reason. Oh, yeah, by the way, adding random animated sparks doesn't make your world any more magical. It's still fucking boxes! So Savage goes to school and sees what Maurice did to Kristen's big project. This causes him to finally realize that maybe he's a little asshole. You know she got a zero because of you? I was hungry, okay? And it just... It just so happened at that moment I had a craving for a six-page paper on the daytime blooming of a nighttime cactus. You like her, don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> Brian's got a girlfriend! Brian's got a girlfriend! I really hate that man. Okay, so as if this movie couldn't possibly get any more miserable, take a look at what they throw at us next. Mom and I have decided that we're not gonna live together for a while. Don't you get it? They're getting a divorce. Thank you, movie! Thank you! When we're not in a fantasy world of hellish nightmares and gruesome ugliness, it's nice to know we can return to a world of separation and divorce! Little monsters, because God hates you! So Savage discovers that the more times he goes down into the underworld, the more he starts to actually become a monster, as body parts start disappearing in the light. So he tells Maurice that he doesn't want to go to the underworld anymore. Believe it or not, you're the only real friend I have. Why do you think I keep coming back? You know, have you ever noticed that Mandel moves like a puppet being used by a bad puppeteer? Uh, how do you operate this damn thing again? Uh, 
But it turns out the evil monster Snick comes along and kidnaps Savage's brother. Why? Because he stopped coming to the underworld. I don't know, you figure out the reasoning behind that. Eric's gone, have you seen him? Do you know where he went? Gone? He's gone? Look, Brian, if you know anything, tell me right now. Well, okay, there's this monster city that lives under my bed and Howie Mandel is one of them. So he calls up all his friends and tells them everything that's happened. Of course they don't believe him, but luckily Savage can prove it. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, to this movie's credit, that is the exact same reaction I would have. So they bring a bunch of flashlights and venture to where they think their brother is being held. Brian Stevenson. Where's Eric? And you brought some little playmates along with you. How nice. I want my brother! As well as some food! Now, Brian, what sort of a greeting is that? After all, we are so much alike. I'm sorry, who are you? We're literally given no introduction to this character. Is he the boss? Is he the ruler? Did he have a plan the whole time? Are they somehow powered by the misery of children? Well, thankfully, none of that is answered because they have to make room for really important scenes like this one. Didn't that add so much? So the head monster turns into clothes, but his gadgets and weapons take the kids out. <laughs> Show Brian to his room. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Stuffed animals? That's the best torture they can do? They must have been watching Money Python Spanish Inquisition. Confess! 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 Luckily, Maurice is down there as they try to figure out a way to escape. I have an idea. We can generate light by wiring pencils to the phone, just like a carbon lamp from a projector. Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Faster! I'm trying! Get this bird! Come on! You don't think these should oh, ah! oh. Okay, even MacGyver will call bullshit on that one. So they escape out of the prison just so they can sneak back in and do the whole goddamn thing over again! It's literally like replaying a level in a video game! So they get the bully to join him because they tricked him into drinking his own piss. Forget it. As the monsters just once again stand in the middle of the room and allow themselves to get zapped. Wait a minute, where's all the gadgets? Where's all the weapons that they had last time? They forgot to write him in? Okay. They get his brother back, but Snake pulls himself together and tries to stop the kids from leaving. But luckily, Maurice has a secret weapon! I'm sure he's gonna take one of the lessons he's learned and use it to save the day- Or he'll just light the motherfucker on fire! What's the moral of this film again? All the monsters are happy that the head monster is destroyed, though we- don't really know why, as we have no idea how this fucking world works, but whatever. It turns out the sun's already come up at their house. So they travel across the country, that is, they run across the same set several times and just put up different signs, until they finally get to California. Where Savage and his brother enter a video game tournament starring Super Mario Brothers 3! No, nope, no, nope, that would be the awesome ending. Mom! I've got Eric! Where are you? Malibu. Where the hell is that? California. What on earth are you doing there? Um, it's kind of a long story. And I'm not kidding, that's the ending. The issue of the parents getting divorced? Never resolved. Finding out their kids ever tell their parents about the monsters? Never mentioned. What happens to the monster underworld and just how the hell is it being run anyway? Never addressed. We just get a visual recap of the film that only consists of three pictures! I guess even the filmmakers couldn't think of many memorable moments from this shitty ass film. And that's exactly what this is, a shitty ass film. What a miserable piece of cinema. There's no moral or lesson. It's not fun. The images are probably too scary for most kids. It's not visually pleasing. It's not that creative. There's a ton of unexplained story issues. And it's surprisingly mean-spirited. The pranks just seem cruel. The father just seems cruel. The monsters just seem cruel. I don't mind cruelty in a film if it's amounting to something, but this literally amounts to nothing. It's just shit. My advice? Avoid this movie like the plague! Or better yet, 
get the plague so at least you had something to look forward to after watching this dumbass movie. I'm the nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to. Over the shoulder boulder holder?